Um, now, subtracting is the same thing, really. Um, the only difference is there's a minus sign instead of a plus sign. In this step here, you have to subtract. But let's try a problem. Um, 1, 6, minus 3 fourths. Let's turn that around. Let's actually do 3 fourths minus 1 sixth. So we need to find a common denominator to subtract these two fractions. And there's more than one way to do it. There's more than one common denominator. Um, the technique that I'm going to use is just sort of uh, brute force, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm going to multiply the two denominators together to find a common denominator. Common denominator. 4 times 6 are the two denominators. Multiply them together to get 24. That'll work. That's a denominator that will actually work for this problem. So again, let's go through the steps. Uh, 3 fourths. We want to change 3 fourths into a fraction that has a denominator of 24. The way that we got this in the first place was by multiplying it by 6. So we want to multiply the denominator by 6. To make that legal, we have to multiply the numerator by 6. So 6 over 6. Multiply straight across. 3 times 6 is 18. Multiply straight across the denominator. 4 times 6 is 24. That is 3 fourths uh, rewritten in a form that has 24 as the denominator. Because that's going to be our common denominator. Now we have to talk about 1 sixth. Uh, how do we get 1 sixth to be a fraction that has a denominator of 24? Well, we multiply it by 4. Multiply the denominator by 4, that will give us 24. To make that a legal process, we have to also multiply the numerator by 4. So 1 times 4 in the numerator is 4. 6 times 4, of course, has to be 24. That's what we were going for. Um, and now we can subtract. We can convert this problem, the original problem that we had, 3 fourths minus 1 sixth, into a new problem, 18 20 fourths minus 1 6 we found was 4 24. We can combine the two, uh, the two fractions over one denominator. The numerator is just 18 minus 4. We do the subtraction and that just gives us 14 over 24. That would be our answer except it looks like it can be reduced. Um, so let's reduce. Reduce that fraction. Um, looks like we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by oh, 2. What we get when we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2 is 7. And the numerator 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now that fraction is in lowest terms, so that's our answer. Now let's go all the way back to the beginning and, and review what we just did here. Uh, we had a problem, 3 fourths minus 1 sixth. We know that anytime we're adding or subtracting fractions, we need to find a common denominator. One way to do this is just to multiply the two no denominators together. Um, 4 times 6 is 24. Now what we do is we take each one of those fractions, we take 3 fourths right here, and we multiply that by 6 over 6. And the reason we do this is to convert it to a fraction that has a denominator of 24. We do the same thing with 1 sixth from the problem up here. Uh, we convert 1 sixth into 4 over 24. And then our problem can be rewritten. 3 fourths minus 1 sixth can be written as 18 24ths from up here minus 4 24ths from up here. We do the subtraction uh, and then we have to reduce. We got 7 12ths for our answer. So uh, that was a few examples. Why don't you give one a, sh uh, a try on your own? Uh, why don't you try to add, oh I don't know, 2 thirds plus three sevenths. Try to do that one. And also while you're at it, why don't you try to do um, three 
three fifths minus one uh, sixth. Give those a shot and uh, come back.